So we'll take you to Manhattan, St. Peter's, Drake Marie State. Um, we'll do San Francisco P. Wagner, then State School Screen by Art Morris. There's a bunch of these competitive contests. We're going to show you the competitive fourth quarter contest. There are seven each right now. And then when they don't get uncompetitive, we'll cut it. Right now. And if your care is royal, you're going to have to come over a little bit quicker and contest. Make that shot a little bit more difficult. But I think the game plan now, St. Peter's, get it in to Jada Leonard. She's been phenomenal from the free throw line. You want to get the ball in her hands as quickly as possible. <laughs> well, Sunday, we'll inbound. Cool and Leonard in the front court. Roy and Keith in the backcourt. And a foul before the ball even got in. We'll send Leonard to the line with no time coming off the clock. Osterk not happy that she is the one charged with what is now her fourth foul. Well, she feels like Jada Leonard kind of wrapped her up, ran through her a little bit. Might have been a little bit extra on her end, but the results in Jada Leonard being at the free throw line again. She hits the first. Four-point lead for the Peacocks. Manhattan uses their final timeout. And so here we go. 20.1 seconds to go. Both teams out of timeouts. Four-point St. Peter's lead. Uh, in case anyone forgot from a few moments ago, uh, they have a foul to give. Could do so if they wanted to. Because, I, I mean, you know Manhattan's not going to try to play this straight up. They're going to try to do the same thing that they've done the last two times, right? Is get it in and get to the basket as quickly as they can. Absolutely. Only been a few ticks of the clock that has gone off, and we've seen multiple possessions now for both teams. And you even look at the possession where Jada Leonard was able to get to the free throw line, a foul call before the ball even was inbounded. So now still 20 seconds here. Enough time for Manhattan to get a quick bucket and again try to keep replaying the same thing over and over again, hoping that someone misses a free throw. But boy, I mean, we could talk about Jada Leonard, who was 2 of 12 in this game, 8 for 8 from the free throw line. Just big time plays, big time moments from her as a sophomore, just continuing to get it done and be consistent for her teammates. And on a night where she hasn't had her best shooting night, still finding a way to get it done in crunch time. 20 seconds to go. Peacocks hunting their third conference win. And they take it away. It's cool with the steal. Yeah, I might just do what we'll see here. Um, looks like Jacksonville's going to be North Florida. Now on we got um St. Francis PA is up eleven on Wagner. Green Bay's up nine to uh, Robert Morris. Forty nine forty three Bigminton up on UMBC. UNJT up on you up on one thirty six thirty five. Fifty fifty seven using up on George Southern. <coughs> Martin, now South Eastern he has a big fourth quarter. But mine does not be enough because they're um Good solid second quarter and a little bit of lead in the third and the first. Four of course is gonna be Kenneth, huh? Stetson is gonna be Queens by how much? Who knows? Um doing any fourth quarter? I mean we got Val Praise will be Bradley Sicky fifty officially and fifty two forty four you and Steven beat Samper officially. Syracuse be Miami seven and sixty officially. So, we'll see here um, if there's any more um, games that went in before the Manhattan St. Peter's ends. St. Peter's, they're, they've all been, all been close, tight games. Absolutely. You think about, that's a possession or two, right? I mean, that's a possession or two, a free throw or two where you could have hit and been right there in the lead or come away with the win in that game. And I think that's what you have to learn from in conference play in those close games, how to close them out, how to put yourself in the best position to win here. Plus, 
Well, six out of the last seven conference losses for St. Peter's have been by eight points or less. As Cool gets fouled with 9.2 to go. And tonight, trying to do the opposite and finish this one off and come up with a, a big win. I mean, this is a 15-win Manhattan team. They, they were they were rolling before they were a little bit shorthanded. They've gotten closer to full strength tonight. But even at that, uh, St. Peter's is missing. Badamachana has been one of their two or three best players consistently throughout the year and have found a way to pull this one out. And and that I don't think I don't think Manhattan being shorthanded takes anything away from this one for St. Peter's at all. This is this was a good gutsy team win. Absolutely. Look at both teams just having a short bench and just trying to figure out how to play through adversity, play with their chemistry. And you can see the Peacock's chemistry just coming along. I was really impressed with them giving touches to Karis Roy. Players like that having to step up defensively and offensively with Fatima Jana out of this game. Keith hitting some big buckets and in on some defensive plays down the stretch. Rachel Cool, an outstanding night for her. So just across the board was a great performance. And the St. Peter's Peacocks are going to beat the Hand Jasper 61-55. And a huge upset. So let's... Let's go to N U L E and N J I T here. As Jackson beat North Florida 77-16 in the Jacksonville, Florida bath. It was in North Florida's game plus, but those game are obviously fans for both teams are gonna come on support. And Florida Golf Coast officially beat Kansas 7742. 62 44 sticks to beat Queens. And let's, let's just send out to you have any NJIT. And then if we got time, we'll do a Lamar at Southeastern. And then if there's any other time, possibly do some other ones. Like Drake Murray State, possibly, or even Southern at Evansville. In South Carolina, it looks like they're going to hold on, holding on over Tennessee. So we're at 62 53. We leave the holding on over Boston College. Let's now we're at 65 61. And New Albany beats NGIT 30. NGIT played up to the level of competition in a lot of ways. They defended, they played with supreme urgency, but New Albany, they're used to everybody giving them their best shot in the America East. They continue to find ways to win. Tonight might have been among the uglier ones, but boy, they, they, they sure know how to play in, in tight games. Colleen Mullen will join us, the head coach of the Great Danes. That was a very ugly win. 38-36. And NJAT did exactly what they want. And you could see that coach right there at the end. For NJAT, I don't know. You were mad or what? Nah, who knows, but man. You know, he was not happy. Maybe because he felt like his team should have won or something. But man. Wow, wow, well, wow. Well, well. Okay, so let's go to... I would drink at Murray State. Actually, did I say we were... Actually, I said we were in... Go to Lamar at Southeastern first. I did say that, so... Let's go Lamar at Southeastern. Louisiana. And the Mullen win 67-60. Let's go Drake at Murray State. Well, it will be Drake. With the advantage of being able to inbound the ball in the front. Okay, so. Sets in 70-62-44. So we... uh, let's go to the games that are in progress right now. Well, Rochelle. Um, it is. Um... Furman B. Wofford, 64-51. 67-60, Lamar beat Southeastern Louisiana. Okay, so. And we have 
Mercer still up six seventy five sixty in Western. I mean, they're going that one. Looks like Binghamton's going. Looks like Louisiana is going to beat Georgia Southern sixty two fifty seven win that one. Looks like Omaha is going to win over South Dakota. In that one. Looks like Auburn's going to beat Kentucky. Kentucky. All right, and then we got Evansville and Southern Indiana. This is close. 83 2. 67 all. Bust in college. Tied up with Louisville. Number 18 team in the country. Bust in college. If they string some wins together, they could, um, you know, they could, um, just, you know, Go have a chance to, you know, make it 500 at the end of the season, you know, including the possibly then, but in or the ACC tournament, and, and, and you know, they can be 500 exactly 500, and they get in as one of the last teams in from power conferences. We'll see here. Guys, let's, let's go back to Drake at Murray State. 13.1 mil. For the season, makes the first. 81.75. This is a big three, free throw to make it a three possession game. Misses the second. Young the rebound. Ahead to Ford. Stewart's going to pull for three. Off the back of the rim. Ball swatted out. Stewart's got to take another one quickly. It's going to be no good as the buzzer expires. And it looks like in Murray State. Racers are going to follow the Drake Bulldogs. 81.75. And let's. And you Rio Grande. Far hard after Dom and after being blown out on the fort. In the first quarter, but they end up coming back and playing hard, but they still losing 76 to 16. Omaha stunned South Dakota on the road 77 67. And now the only ESPN Plus game here is Louisville and Boston College 60 or 80 or no, oh, that's AC Network game, extra game 67. Now, but we have. And so I don't know, yeah, and so, excuse me, my bad. It's the only one in the um fourth that uh, started at seven Eastern. If um uh, and there are some more that officially ended. Like I said, Drake Deep Mercy you in seventy five. Like you just saw there the ending. Seventy six sixty two Mercer officially beat Western Carolina. Sixty fifty. Green Bay beat Robert Morris. 52-44. Bingham to beat UMBC officially. Like I said, Louisiana officially beat Georgia Southern. 60-57. And yeah. So, in tennis, in South Carolina officially beat Tennessee 66-55. They struggled in the, against the good, uh, I mean, it wasn't pretty though, except for the fourth, you know. They really were, they were actually down a half by three and then they tied up. So the fourth quarter was about the only separation they got. So. And that's Southern Night Evans uh, is in overtime. Gonna go to overtime. E three eighty three. Sixty four sixty. Georgia Tech is tied to beat Clemson. Georgia Tech secured more of a chance to at least make it to the WNIT or the WBIT. Aaron's gonna beat Kentucky, like I said. Gonzaga's gonna beat St. Mary's. Obviously, huge. We have North Dama. We have UIC. I see after three fifty two forty two. 69 51 Belmont over Northern. 
have 44 to go in the fourth. Imperial Awards 57 54 over Texan Cars. 56 58 Norris over Nichols. 48 46 Louisiana Tech over Jacksonville State. 60 43 Iowa over Michigan. 30 27 Virginia Tech on Duke. 35 21 South Dakota State up on Kansas City. 34 23 North Dakota up on Denver. 41 36 Roberts up on North Dakota State. Duke got mid mate. Two good Summit League teams. We have 33 23 Texan of Corpus, Cor Cor Corpus Christi up on North Carolina State. I have 43 28 North East Arrington up on Charleston State. 37 36 Utah Valley up on California Baptist. 40 20 Middle Tennessee. Cooled off a little bit, but. They're up 40 20. 34 29. Cooled off a little bit. Both teams did, but it's still close. And then 34-29. Northern Arizona cooled up big time. Well, Sacramento State is hot, hot, hot. 30-50-30-52-30. Sacramento State up by Northern Arizona. Huge up. That would be a huge, big, big upset. 33-20. Idaho up on Weber State. Starting up in a, is Southern CLU. Starting up any minute here at the 9 Eastern window is Vanderbilt, Texas on SC Nart. Santa Clara, San Francisco, Portland, Pacific, San Diego, Pepperdine, and Keeney, one of the best mid majors in all of Division One, taking on Utah Tech, Western Kentucky, and Utah, and Kelsey Bakersfield, trying to stop Windless Northridge, or in Windless and Conference Northridge, in their first win. Kelsey Fortune, taking on UC Urson, and Eastern Washington, one of the a really good mid major, taking on Idaho State in the 10 Eastern, UC San Diego is Santa Barbara, UC Davis against Southern Beach State, and uh, 59 Eastern, or basically Mid Eastern. Couple of tickets in Hawaii. What is overtime here? And. Yeah, sixty nine sixty seven. Louisville up on Boston College here. When is there any official other official ones added? St. Francis P did be winner seventy six sixty. No sixty four sixty three. George Tech on Clemson. That's the official final score. Okay. So actually, we'll I'll pause it here for now, and um, after this one, well, actually, so so if you want to watch Evans at Southern Illinois, you can watch that one on ESPN Plus for overtime. For, but for now, um, we'll take you, but it'll be over for. Those ones. It'll be over. The program will be over for right now.